You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. For a 2D vector outline, select the object that you want to have the outline. Press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it, then Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it. Go to Transform and make sure to reset its position. Then go to Visibility and make sure Show Behind Parent is enabled. Under the Material tab, select Empty, create a new shader material, select it, create a new shader. I will name it to 2D Outline, then select it to open up the script. In the code, I will create three export variables, which are known as uniforms. This includes outline thickness, which can be equal to any value from 1 to 100 at a step of 0.1, anti-alias amount, which can basically blur the edge of the outline so it isn't jagged and pixelated, and outline color, which we can use to change the color of the outline. Inside of the fragment function, which is a built-in function that runs its code on every pixel of the sprite that this shader is applied to, we will establish three variables. Max distance is how far around the current pixel we will look for a solid pixel that is a part of the image, that we can know whether or not this pixel should be an outline pixel or not. Max offset gives us a rounded up integer of max distance, which will be needed later in a for loop. Seal will make sure that the number always rounds up. Closest outline distance will keep track of the closest visible pixel. We'll calculate the transparency of the pixel later. We use two for loops so we can search around every pixel of the current pixel. Offset will take the content from the for loop and convert it to a vector 2. Then dist will provide the distance from the current pixel to the offset pixel. This is done using length which provides a straight line distance from the current pixel to whatever is inside the brackets. If the dist is more than the max distance, then we skip the code below, but still continue the for loop so we can check the other pixels around the current pixel. This check is so that we can skip any unnecessary pixels from being checked further to save some performance. Additionally, this will make our check based on a circle shape opposed to a square shape, which will provide a cleaner look for the outline as well as boost performance. Then we check if the nearest pixel is part of the original sprite. This is done by searching around the current pixel with the offset and the real size of the pixels with texture pixel size. We then grab the alpha because if the alpha isn't fully transparent, then it means that the nearby pixel is part of the original sprite's texture. We update the closest outline pixel so we can keep proper track of how close this current pixel being checked is, the nearest real pixel of the sprite's texture. Then we create a variable called alpha and set it to be a smooth gradient that moves from the sprite outwards. If the current pixel is closer to the sprite's texture, then the alpha will be closer to 1.0. Else, as the pixel gets further from the sprite's texture, the smooth step will provide a higher value, making the current pixel more transparent. Smooth step returns a value between 1 and 0, depending on how the third value falls between the first two values, with the first value being the minimum and the second being the maximum. Also, if the third value or closest outline distance is less than the minimum or more than the maximum, then the smooth step will simply return a 0 or 1 respectively. Additionally, smooth step is non-linear and has an easing on either end, making a softer and more natural transition opposed to a purely linear fade. The smooth step transition will basically allow us to provide anti-aliasing to the edges of the outline, preventing jagged edges and softening the outline's edge as it fades out. And finally, we set the color of the current pixel to the outline color with the custom alpha. We can do this on every pixel no matter how far the pixel is from the sprite's texture, as in the case that the current pixel is too far from the sprite's texture, the alpha will simply be equal to zero, leaving that pixel transparent. We use this method instead of applying an outline directly to the sprite, because otherwise there will be a weird gap between the sprite and the outline due to any anti-aliasing aliasing that the sprite image may already have, but this method is to avoid that. Also keep in mind that there should be ample space within the sprite's image for the outline to exist, as the outline can't go outside of the sprite's bounding box. Also, because of these exported uniform variables, on the right we can drop down shader parameters and edit any of the parameters that we want. And because of the anti-alias, we can also use this outline as a glow effect instead. Additionally, if you were to select the main sprite and hit Ctrl or Command plus D and duplicate it, make sure that on the sprite that has the shader applied, you go to the shader material and you press Make Unique. If you don't do this, then any changes applied to one shader material will also apply to the other shader materials. Now you have a 2D vector outline, you can edit its thickness, anti-aliasing and color, and don't forget that you can check out the project files link in the description